Hello everyone, welcome back to some more cards action. We got a little bit of a special treat uh, for you today because I was talking with Red Sun and he gave us a list for his pinwheel deck. It's his version of um, Brit Jap um, pinning effects. Um, there's a whole bunch of one-offs and stuff, so it looks like there was quite a bit of thought put into the cards, the number of cards and whatnot. So. I left the deck as is. We'll give it some uh, runs and see how it goes. Um, I have played a couple games with it and it seems pretty strong. There wasn't anything that um, I disliked right off the bat. So we'll give it a give it a shot here and uh, see how we do. Um, the deck plays a single fortification, um, which is surprising because I feel like a deck either plays all or none. So. Like I said, a lot of tinkering, it seems like, went into the, the cards, the number of cards and whatnot. So we'll give it a run here, five games as is tradition, and see how it performs. But like I said, it's been holding up really well. I don't think, I, think I, I, I had some losses, but they were so few and far between that I don't even remember them. So hopefully we will um, display um, Red Sun's deck with honor and uh and do it justice here because it's definitely an interesting one okay nothing too scary um question of popping this now or after let's just do it now um mm, this is actually interesting because we'll either want the sexton or the lancaster we have a sexton in hand lancaster is crazy strong um Hmm. US usually doesn't have too many fighters I can think of that would block the Lancaster. So um, I think just since we already have a Sexton, let's go with the Lancaster here. Five attack Blitz Bombers, nothing to shake a stick at. All right, took a powerful one here. I think we're just gonna drop the fortification past the turn here and get it out of our hands. Gain our seven. Next turn, I think we just black burn, pin it, and then we can attack. Yep. US usually plays a lot of bounce, so bouncing the black burn and giving us another deployment effect. Opportunity is not the worst. If he moves this up, we might just pin with naval power and attack the, the Greyhound here. That's a spicy boy. That is a uh, spicy boy. So we're going to have to find a double pin to kill that. Um... I think we just need to start searching here. So let's radar, see what we got. That's a good one. And we'll just uh, eat his Greyhound because next turn I know we're, we're losing our little, uh, our little birdie here. <clears throat> yep. So the deck plays quite a bit of bombers. So having units in the front line that can attack our bombers uh, puts us in a little bit of a vulnerable situation, but we do have lots of pin effects. So that's also something to keep in mind. Um, I think we're just gonna draw here. That's unfortunate. Um, he's gonna do three here, potentially. I wonder if a raid is, a, is if it's a good time to pop it now or later. Um, if we do it now, then if he does to decide to attack us for five, you know he probably doesn't have any other place to make. Otherwise, we can let him um, add to the board, which I think maybe let, let's let him add to the board here. Always come to worse next turn. We can albacore. The rifles, naval power that. Wow. Or we could just shelling here. Hmm. 
Hmm. Really need to find one of our combo pe or pin combo. We have a lot of pin um, cards. We need to find something that uh, if unit is pinned, then destroy it cards. That's really what we're looking for. Um, two, four, five. You know what? Let's do this. And this. Not not what we're looking for because there's no way for it to survive. Um, because if he does decide to attack for a billion damage, he's not going to be able to put anything else down. We need to slow down. Slow him down somehow. Next turn we can also shelling. And then put down the Sonya. Hopefully it survives. Let's see how they play this out. The good news is we've got quite a bit of HQ HP to play around with, so. It won't be the uh, the death of us if we just take a bunch of damage to the face here. Wow. Um, that is very awkward, but let's just get our Sonya in here. See if we can make something happen. Understandable. One two is uh, pretty much vulnerable to any type of uh, order, so that was kind of a given. Hmm. Not looking too good for us. We're already on the back foot here, but uh, it doesn't really survive that. Hmm. We can sexton and then pin in Sexton, Shukov, and then pin everything else. Hopefully that's enough here. There's an argument to naval power this. Um, yeah, let's just do it. Let, we really need something to survive here. Or we need the Sexton to survive so we can start taking out... Uh, these units. <clears throat> yeah, unfortunate. I think we got a pretty awkward hand, in all honesty. A lot of... Uh, the deck kind of runs on... On... Um, On, you know two card combos you got one that pins and the other one that destroys when it's pinned like uh, the tens in here um Could just Lancaster the uh, lightning. We could Albacore kill this, kill this as well. Oh, 
I was kind of wanting to play the albacore and uh, get rid of that, but we can do a next turn, which might be better for us. Would love to draw some card draw here. Eating all these units is going to be a little bit difficult for us. Not impossible, just difficult. Yep. It's a pretty nice one. So let's go ahead and kill this. Um... So we can pin this. Hope that our Churchill survives. <laughs> Are we going to save this to combo with something else? Hmm. So that's definitely going to attack here. You know what? Let's... I think we got to take some risky plays here just because we're a little bit uh, behind. I really need this to survive. So I can start clearing all this stuff here. Yep. Oh. That sucks. That truly sucks. That's not what we're looking for. Oof. That's a rough one. <clears throat> We're taking 11 here. We need Monty and do some really powerful stuff. It's not going to be it. Hope for the best here, but I, I can't see us uh, making a comeback here. Not when they have a pile of cards in hand and a pretty threatening board. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm not going to put an L right now beside this game, but uh, it would take a miracle. Yeah. Insult to injury here. <laughs> All right. GG. Um, there's, I'm sure there there were some plays that maybe we could have made to make that a little bit more competitive a game, but uh, definitely think just the order in which we drew cards and what we drew was, uh, was a, a decent factor uh, in that uh, game. All right, guys. Uh, with that being said, let's move on to the next one. Round number two. Welcome back. Trying to get a, a W with our pinwheel deck against Psycho here. Um, the resistance Monty is really bad, so let's hopefully draw it later on. We'll keep the Blackburn, and if there are aggro naval operations, is pretty good. We'll we'll hedge our bets with these two, I think. See if we can get something better in the other ones. Or we just redraw another Tenzin. Good luck, have fun. Indeed, sir. Indeed. <clears throat> Alright, they're aggressive. 
Fair enough. We are going to be taking some damage. Um, I think we'll save that. They're okay taking taking four here. Next turn, depending if they add more to the board, we might just naval operations. Buy us some time here. Yep. Definitely naval operations. And then this will be our one health, which means we can clean it up with this. Feeling pretty good so far. We got a nice two for one here. <clears throat> which I will take. Let's go ahead and eat this past the turn. Yeah, fair enough. I think we eat everything. And then the, the Sonya can clean up the Panzer even though it's not going to trigger its effect. It's only got 1 HP here. Next turn, if something big and scary comes out, we can naval power tens in it. Or our Sonya could die. I don't know if using the Amphibious Salt on the Sonya was the right play here. You can just as easily attack it. Yeah, you're you're getting two more damage, but I'm not sure if it's really what you want to do in this situation. Um, two, four, six, eight potentially, but we do have life. So it is interesting actually, because then whatever leftovers can kill the uh, the tens in here. Hmm. Sure. Let's actually you know what I could have done instead? Just pinned two units. Yeah, he would have potentially done two damage to me, and then I could have cleaned up another one next turn. It's a little bit that's a little bit more scare if they have some way of doing some extra damage, but Okay. That's fine by me. We can do this, this, and then we can clean up the panzer with our our little type 94 here. I have a feeling this is just going to draw us four cards. <laughs> Considering what we're facing here. I haven't seen this card in a while. Um, hopefully he plays a uh, order so we can draw into something that can deal with that. Nope. That would not be my luck. Let's uh, do it again. Oh, thank God. Really? It's scary what he has in his hand.
so hopefully we can kill this, gain some health back. We're okay with this. Oh lord, if we played the M3 honey, we would have died. <laughs> Alright, let's let's go ahead and get our our life here. Alright, two cars in hand. I think we've weathered the storm here. Hopefully. We've got a uh, honey to again continue gaining us health here. Yep. That's fine. We'll take three, gain one. Potentially gain more. Is there anything that would kill us? Just wondering if I should play the naval power to gain us health. I don't think so. Goes to nine. Actually, if he's if he had the um, the fighter, we would have died. So we we should have played it. All right. So just do this and gain a bunch of health. I think we just do this to gain health here. All right, we're at 13, 13. Can't imagine a single card that would uh, put us in the danger zone here. Yep. Let's gain more health here. More pin. We have naval power and surprise attack to to kill anything pretty much that's targetable. What's their final? Uh, I didn't kill all that. I went for that instead. GG, GG. Ooh, all right. We got there. We weathered the storm there. That was a little scary. I won't even lie. Like I see you for round three. Here we go, round three against a German deck. So either probably, most likely, um, discard or tank grow, tank aggro. Both of those decks scare me, so. We're damned if we do, damned if we don't. Pass a turn here, drop our uh, honey. Let's see how things go from there. <clears throat> Alright, let's see if our honey survives. Huh? Alright. Didn't walk into a careless talk here. But they didn't have a turn one play, so... Curious to see what they're going to do on their second turn. Oh, are they playing baby combo, perhaps? Gaining health is going to be a big thing then. Wait. <laughs> I clicked on my mobilized deck. I've been playing this deck for so much I didn't realize. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Um, all right. Play mobilize. For uh, for one round, we're taking a breather. I did this on purpose. Um, <laughs> uh, a part of me wants to pause this video um, and just uh, bring you back for the uh, the third pinwheel deck. You know what? Should I put this in or should I? Uh, you know, what? we'll keep it in. Um, but I'll I'll make a note that this is a bonus game and that um, our, our third actual match with Pinmail will be a little bit later on here. Okay. 
That is hilarious here. Uh, so it looks like they're really playing uh, um, baby combo. So I think I want to use the shelling to just slow them down a little bit. Continue to gain life with uh, with the honey here. They're not playing baby combo. Or maybe they are. They just have guards. Really hard to say. That being said, I think we're dropping a big boy here. Seeing how they react to a 9-9 in the front lines. <clears throat> Funny that I didn't realize the first time around uh, when the cards came, but uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Fair enough. Two, six, seven. Hmm. That's what happens when you are used to clicking on a, you know, just getting your reps in with a deck. <clears throat> uh oh, my nostrum. Yowzas. I think we're going to pin it at this point now. So argument to pin these three, but I don't think I really care about that. Let's just pass the turn here. Hopefully this survives and then we can start mowing things down with our artillery. <clears throat> We're protected from the Henko with our Potes. Next turn we can also Black Watch if we so choose. Or are we just going to trade off? Fair enough. We got our value off of our Potes and we got another one in hand, so not the worst. Does he use it for anything? He does not. Interesting. Well, we're gonna make everything more expensive for him in that case. So we know he's got a four cost uh, Spoils of War and a two cost Bomb if he wants to use it. It's a little scary. See if he has a way of attacking our airborne, otherwise, it's gonna get uh, pretty big. <clears throat> uh oh. Yep. Fair enough.
left. So we are in Leopold territory. Um, unfortunately, our uh, maybe we should have held on to the um, the evasive action until he got to ten credits. That was probably the smarter idea. Uh, I was kind of playing around that when I did that. Obviously, he didn't do it that time. <clears throat> That's okay. It gives us a reason to uh, potes and first airborne. I think now is a good time to pin. He can't put any more things on the field. And we can do this. Huzzah. Ooh. Let's protect ourselves. He can't deploy Leopold this turn. And so the only thing you really do is a is a big... Um, a big... Uh, operation. So let's go ahead and... Or sorry, order. So let's go ahead and protect ourselves from at least one with the ultra here. Beautiful. Let's get rid of this. Bring this up. Hmm. Leopold really mangles us, but do we have any way of dealing with that? We'll get this back, so it means we can stun. Let's call it a day here. I'm expecting a scary, scary big boy to pop up here. Bounce everything back to hand, yep. Oh, really? Ah, uh, that is extremely unfortunate. Extremely unfortunate. Well, let's see how this game goes. Ah, this card is, uh, <laughs> God, its effect is just so, so good. Naturally. Naturally. That is, let's see what we get with this. If we find another, um, 
it's got uh, order called air power. We might have a we have a chance of killing the Leopold. It's really our only out here. Oh, this thing. Need to kill this. Oh man. Oof. I take you out. Take you out. Play you. Next turn we can do this. Man, if we make it out of this, I'll be impressed. <clears throat> so hopefully he doesn't play a fighter so our Wellington can get through. Not a fighter, so we will. We can't target this. Um, so we'll do this. We'll do this. We'll play this and you. He's obviously going to be this in the front. I'm assuming he's going to kill the Wellington. We can potes put it to the back lines and get our two guys and hopefully just key crap. Goodbye, honey. And we know he's got a comet there. Nine cards in hand. Oh, I forgot. I can't target it. <laughs> Crap. Mm. Yup. There's going to be a much more of a problem than anticipated. Too many big boys to deal with. Yep. And ultra's down so he can do whatever he wants. Uh oh. What do we have to contend with now? another Leopold oh that would have helped tremendously Do we already play one of our uh, carpet bombs? I don't even know. Two cards left in our deck. He's got nine in his. Yeah, this one's looking a little lost. We're facing down three elites here. Really? Where's the carpet bomb? Or well, maybe we just played it. Let's see. Let's see what our last card is going to be because now I'm curious. This was a crazy long game. And it wasn't even pinwheel and we didn't even win. What a life we live. Oh, I guess we uh, we played our last um, the last one there. 
Well, I can't see us winning this one, so we're just gonna surrender, and I'll see you back for round three of Pinwheel. Uh, see you soon. All right, we are on round three of Pinwheel, and uh, hoping to get some W. So right now we're at one and one. We'll drop the Monty, keep the uh, Type 94. If they're playing with um, with, uh, it's also a really nice pickup with uh, the Congo line. Then we do want the naval operation to clean things up. Okay, they're playing something spicy. With that being said, let's just get our uh, little Sonia in there and pack him for one. Only 19 of more of those to go here. Hmm. Some sort of ramp deck. Well, two damage a turn isn't the most pressure uh, that I'm sure they've seen, but uh, it's what we got, so let's see if he gets us there. Oh my lord, he is going to be jacked on his next turn. Continue our little barrage of one <laughs> damage units here. He is officially 75% dead, as it stands. And we lose everything with carpet bombing. Okay. Um, it's really hard to play around carpet bombing. We, we could have just leave it with two units there. That's why I put the honey there. But as it stands, I think we just passed the turn here. Let's see uh, what they do here. But everything they play now is going to be extremely scary, extremely big, so... It's going to be a tough one. Those are two big boys that I'm going to shell. Actually, let's do it. Which one do we care about more? I think the fact that they're going to draw a million cards is really scary. So... Let's get rid of that. Pass the turn. Next turn we can just bounce everything back to his hand. And play a big boy. Might actually end up doing that. Just getting some, some pressure on the board here. Fair enough. Okay. We are going to pin everything here. Because now I can't deploy. This means he doesn't get the Skytrain benefit. Ooh. I think it's too nice to kill this. These are uh, all units that I'm not too worried about here. Let's see what we draw with our MI. Not the worst. Do we play this and get the radar to draw into something? They're playing a ramp. We won't be under that much pressure. Let's see if we can get to Bletchley. It, it'll allow us to kind of mitigate all the value they're getting with the Skytrain because everything's just going back on top of their deck and they'll be drawing, you know, one credit, two twos. So I think we're just, just going gung-ho on <laughs> getting Bletchley here. And there's no way for them to have... Uh, Ultra here, so yeah, let's let's just do that. I 
could play the naval operations here as well. We just want to buy time here um, and get up to Bletchley. Right, we have our board wipe next turn. Um, feeling pretty good about that, and hopefully it uh, it'll be enough to just yeah. Let's see if he does anything here, but uh, feeling pretty good about our Bletchley next turn. It's gonna get rid of everything, and we at least know two of the cards in his hand. Yeah, that wasn't gonna go away anyway, so sure. All right, sir. In Ooh. Okay, I see what you did there. Um, he made it so we can't believe Bletchley. So let's just do this. Get Ultra going in case he tries to draw. Um, and the next turn, we'll just Bletchley. Well, there's even an argument to uh, shelling to kill these two. Let's see what they do. That's scary. I think I'm going to pin. So I don't want him drawing these two. Or do we save that? You know what? Let's put everything back. Pass the turn. I have to find a way of dealing with this B17. Pretty much useless. Um, yep. What's that last card in hand? Very curious. Uh, that's what I like to see. So this. Oh, it can't be targeted. That hurts. So we can do two going down to 13. This will do eight. Or we can just kill this. I think we gotta find another, hmm. Forgot that this can't be targeted by orders. That is scary. Come on, Poppy, give me something here. I need a fighter of some sort. Does two? Oh my god! <laughs> oh no, that was scary. Um, kill this. Do this. 
and he'll probably make the trade there. Oh my god, I don't know how we're holding on here. Bless you, gave us all the time in the world, and it's still gonna be scary. Yeah, we are definitely killing that. Yoink. This. This. Alright, hopefully this gains us some health. <clears throat> We can finish them off with uh, with the Wellington here. That's fine. I think I play this just to get some more damage on the board here. Maybe I wait. Ooh, this is tough. This is so tough. I think I play it. I'm on a race against time here. Right there at 10. Did we find a way to maneuver around this game? That's fine. We can kill it with those two. All right, let's see what his last uh, his last card is. Is this still a Bletchley unit? It was still a Bletchley unit. Ooh. Holy cow. Oh my lord. <laughs> that was a hard fought W. Bletchley come in clutch there. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and uh, put the uh, recording on pause and we'll see you for. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit of a water break. That was intense. We'll see you guys for round number five. Or round four, actually. Take it. All right, guys. Welcome back. Second last round with... Oh, my God. Please... Okay, I did choose the right deck. <laughs> for a moment, I thought we were going to have another bonus. Actually, I was probably just going to pause the recording at this one. Um, all right. Facing US. So we're either dealing with ramp or maybe a little bit more aggressive. I'll keep the raid. Actually, no, let's drop the raid. I don't know how I feel about this card. We'll put back everything else. It's fine. Raid's a really interesting one. Um, I think it might be one of those cards that's better when you're better at cards because you know certain credit levels which equal potential cards from your opponent that can really change the tide. And a card like that can really uh, change the tempo um, so I think it's one of those guys that's a lot better if you're better at the game. Um, so maybe that's why I don't like it too much. Not good enough to really take, uh, make use of it. <clears throat> All right, so we'll make him trade into us. The Congo. And I, yeah, he's going to play another one. We're just going to... She let's... Let's do this because we might be able to hit one of the Congos back into his deck. And then if he redraws that, um, you know, he doesn't get the value because he's, yeah, that's the second one. So he still has technically one in the deck. So let's see if we can do that. Hopefully that was one of them. No, I don't think so. It would have been here probably, right? Yeah, he still drew the, the fourth one out of his deck. Unfortunate, but definitely I think was worth the uh, the try here. Just make two. 
and they trade in pretty nicely. I think he does have to, or he can also use the common in years, but. Huh. Surprised he did that. Um, I think we're just drawing because we really want to draw into naval operations. Exactly. And let's drop this. Ooh, that's a spicy one. And that's really, I hate the Firefly and Royal Ulsters. Ooh against an aggressive deck is can be okay because it essentially gives you se seven hq but meh, not in this situation we'll take the commando here <clears throat> this deck is pretty heavy in orders look all of our hand cards are orders except for the commando here so we can find a ni nice time for this we can get some value here oh and so it begins Kill the big boy next turn if we need to naval operations again it takes out the common engineers but i really want to find a way of getting the uh, commandos down here okay i might actually just commando and then uh monty here This survives. We've got a lot of different options. That's fine. Oh, you can't. Oh, that's awkward. Or maybe he just did that. Uh, the turn coming in. So uh, let's do this first. And I think we just play two raids here. Get max value out of this uh, commando, and they won't be able to play anything really. Hmm. Move it up to the front line because I think it's actually safer in the front line. Um, Stars and stripes and the uh, the three six cost three damage bombing and everything. Oh, dang! I uh, that's true. It's really the only thing I can think of that would do it. Or or um, dang, that's that's unfortunate. Hopefully we can keep things um, away from the front line. Man, that uh, commando is going to do so much work. Oof. Breaks my heart that we lost her. Alright, so he did have the stars and stripes, so we were damned if we did, damned if we didn't. Play this just to make things a little bit more difficult for him. <clears throat> three, three, scary. He's not going after my uh, honey. Interesting. Hmm. gets pinned if we don't kill it. Oof.
I could just shelling. Take it both out with the two of them. I think this is the right choice. Hopefully it doesn't have any more blitz units. Because then we can get a, a kill with shelling and then attack with the Sonya next turn. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure this... This works. I think I actually want to do this one. Wow. Actually, we should have done this one. Eh, it can. Yeah, but if they have any. Here's anything we're born. This is really tough. Eh. Yep. Ugh. That's a nice one. I think we are out of the uh, contention here, but oh no, that doesn't do anything. I think we just use it, so since we need to draw, <laughs> this doesn't really do anything. That's eight damage. Lots of blitz units in the stack. A lot of blitz units. All right, my god. Ha! Huh. Nice. Right, they can only play orders here, which gives us a window of opportunity to do something. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> All right, GG. That was a sweet top deck, but uh, it didn't matter, unfortunately. Uh, All right, we. <laughs> oh, that, that hurts my soul. Uh, see you for the fifth and final round. All right, fifth and final round here. These games were pretty long. We'll put away the raid because we don't know what it does. Um, Ultra, let's keep these two here. Let's see, do they Congo line us as well? They do indeed. All right, so probably gonna make the same play. Bring this up, let them make the trade, put down a honey. Let's see where we go from there. I was not expecting that. I was truly not expecting that. Well, that's something. Go ahead and kill it. This will move up into the front line um, and potentially give him an opportunity to Sherman. All those hens, what's that at eight? Yeah, you can still do it. Or you could play that. 
Yep. Alright, hopefully nothing to get rid of this because a 3 3 bomber might put in some work here. Dang. Double dang. Let's see what the MI5 gets me here. I think we do this so that way he can't kill my bomber. Yeah. Hopefully he doesn't have a way of just giving him a boost, but I, yeah, I'm sure he's got something. Oof. That's a rough one. Yep. Would love to see naval. Oh, sometimes when you call her, it just feels so good on the body. <clears throat> now we play the fortification brings us to the point where Commonwealth kills him but I think I want to scared of anything too crazy happening oh we could have played the Tenzin I want one I'm not too scared of though Next year will be a 10. Uh, it's looking a little rough, but maybe there's a way we can finagle depending on what we draw up to 30 HQ so we can just one shot him with Commonwealth. Let me do a little bit of damage to him. Oh, nice. Very, very nice. I can push everything back. Oh, my lord. I think we might be able to find a, a situation where this works. Yeah. Oh. We are okay with any of these going into the front lines because unless he does damage to our HQ, we are going to come with them next turn. And that's a, that would be an awesome way to, uh, to cap off this series here. Just a good old fashioned Commonwealth to the face. Oh my Lord, is it happening? It's happening. Oh, let's give him the good games. Oh no, I miscounted. All right. All right. All right. We still got this. Good lord, that scared me. Alright, next turn we can commonwealth him in the face. Please. Please don't, uh... Don't do me dirty like that. We are at 38 here, okay, that's fine. That's fine. My notion would have put him into into range to uh, to not get hit by the Commonwealth. All right, now we do this. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh dang, that feels good. All right, well, perfect way to to cap off the series ended uh, three and two so um one of our better performing well i would say average performing decks actually i wonder what we usually get end up with um but pretty fun and strong deck and some really cool interactions um mainly play one card deal 20 damage to your bonus hq all right guys uh take care and uh hope you guys enjoyed